We have an opportunity in Alabama. It's 170 acres. It's got an entertainment barn that's over 5,000 square feet. It's got a chalet. It's got a cabin. It's got ponds. It's got creeks. It's got riding trails. It's got entertainment written all over it or just a family compound getaway or maybe even a bird preserve. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm Chad Camp, your Alabama land agent. And this is a spectacular property. It's 170 acres. It's right there between Birmingham and Atlanta, Georgia. It's between I-59 and I-20, and specifically it's Asheville, Alabama, St. Clair County. Beautiful piece of property. It's got multi-purpose written all over it between weddings. It could be a bird preserve. It could be a church camp. It could be family, just for family own purpose too. You got pasture that's fenced. You've got hunting trails and fields and just so many different things that you can do with this property. That's why it's so unique and so spectacular. And and when you look at when you actually go out there and you view this property, you see all the improvements they've they've done. And the asking price is down in the description of this video. You can click the link. It'll take you to uh, my website with the pricing, and you, there you'll find it. So. Beautiful piece of property. Let's don't waste any more time. Let's get to it. Shoal Creek Valley Farm is located in Asheville, Alabama, specifically St. Clair County, Alabama. It's between Birmingham and Atlanta, Georgia, and it's between two interstates, I-59 and I-20, and you'll see the exit numbers later in the video. So you're only two hours from Atlanta, Georgia, about an hour from Birmingham, 45 minutes to an hour, two hours from Chattanooga, Tennessee, then you're only two hours from Huntsville, Alabama. And then you're only two hours from Montgomery, Alabama, as well as three and a half hours from Nashville, Tennessee. So it's easy to get to. But property fronts on Canyon Road 22, also called Show Creek Road. You pass a double wide going into the property, which doesn't stay with the property. Can be bought if somebody wanted it. But immediately you'll notice the entertainment barns on the right when you come in. And then you'll see the little cabin on the left and then out in the woods in the distance um, along this road here would be the little chalet in the woods and then as you look back coming in the middle of the road you've got about 10 acres that's fenced in pasture and then you've got about another eight acres to the left that's not fenced um, it's an area that might be a good place to add a more a, a, a enlarged pond if you wanted to or make a larger pond. But you got Show Creek, and there's a little bridge about right there, and that's what it looks like that's not completed. Needs to be, uh, things probably need to be added to it to, to make it better. But you do have a creek crossing that you can use right now. But lots of opportunity. You've got over 5,000 feet on Show Creek. And you'll see some images later on in towards the end of the video of this area back in here of what's what all this looks like. Some live video footage there. But lots of trails, lots of shooting lanes on the property. But it's just a beautiful property when you come into the in there. And, you know, you're very close to 231. 231's not even probably a quarter of a mile if not that from this property so it's very convenient to go north and south to both interstates i-20 and i-59 that's one of the things that you would notice immediately looking at it on a map there but this is the entertainment barn it has two air conditioning units one on each side and just a really lots of space to be able to park lots of space for people to be outside and enjoying and that's what they use this for as a wedding venue it's 50 over 5400 square feet that's including the space upstairs you got two hvac units the barn footprint on this is about 54 by 89 roughly in that in that ballpark but it's been used for weddings and you're seeing these pictures of the weddings and events that they've had there just a really spectacular property um it's lots of room, lots of potential. There's a lot more that you could do with this property if you wanted to. You could go up to the top and finish the top of this if you wanted to and close it in. Or maybe you're wanting to use it for a different type of use, Not maybe not weddings. You know, it could easily be used for, you know, like a bird preserve. 
and maybe a church camp or a pumpkin patch. There's a lot of things that you could do if that's what you want to do or just use it for a family getaway. You know, maybe take the barn and convert it into some, you know, bunk areas if you wanted to, and if you didn't want to use the chalet. But the utility barn is outside. It's got a kitchen. It's got a men's bathroom. It's got a women's bathroom. It's got a HVAC unit. Um, the actual area that's... Um, the pole barn area you saw the dimensions on it that you can use for storage so it's it's really a utility area back there because you got storage area you've got the bathrooms you got the kitchen just a really unique spot on this but you know again it's not limited on events bird preserve weddings business function you know a pumpkin patch with a hayride church camp even a bed and breakfast would be a great little um, theme here if you wanted to and maybe maybe make it like like a dude ranch too you know where you can teach people to ride and they can stay you know that might be something that you could think about as well um to help pay for the property if you wanted to but um down in the links below in the video description uh, more detail of my contact information and then you know dream home if you're not this is not what you're looking for you can fill that information out and you'll find the price there um, prices change sometimes. I don't include them in the video, but you know it's there in the link. It'll take you right to the price of this. So if you'll go to that link, you'll find the price there. But this is the kitchen area here, and you know it's just a hop and skip, and you're there into the entertainment area, and it's you know it's far enough away that you can access the uh, the entertainment area, but also it's not in your way too with people. This is an area that's used for storage. There, you could use it for a lot of other things if you wanted to. That's what's great about it. It's far enough away. Or you can finish it. You know, it might be another opportunity to go in there and finish it. You can see the HVAC unit for this building or this barn is right there. And this has HVAC on each side. The barn is about 300 feet from the cabin. That's where we're headed to next is the cabin next to the pond. And this part, porch, this is a porch that I like. It, you know, it's a 14 by uh, 36 porch. Lots of room to entertain people and guests there. You can see it's a two-bedroom, one-bath with a loft area upstairs. It's about 1,300 square feet, roughly. You know, it's a 14 by 36 uh, front porch. It's got HVAC. You do have like a little wood stove in here, which is kind of a neat feature. But it, the finishes on this is really nice. You know, it's not, it's more of like a lodgy cabin. You know, when you think of a cabin, you think of wood walls and or logs. But this is what I call more of a lodge type cabin. But you got wood floors. You look at all the trim in this this house that you've got there. You got this big open kitchen with the den. They've got the uh, fireplace. You got the little stove there. Just a really neat little feature. This is a little aerial here showing you with the barn and the cabin. And the little chalet in the woods is just to the uh, kind of northeast on this picture. You know, as you see, not um, um, just in this picture. But you're just moments away from I-59 and I-20. It's a, just a hop and skip. You're probably about 20 minutes from from either interstate, I would say. Um, and there's going to be some shopping that I want to tell you about, too, as far as how close Walmart is. And I'll tell you that in a minute. But just a lot of space and, and Publix, too. You know, there's a lot of different ways for in a lot of different areas you can go to shopping without having to go to Birmingham. We're going to talk about that in a second. But, um, but you got this little stove, wood stove, fireplace here. You can cook on top of it, you know, if it got too cold and you're out there camping or hunting but again shopping's nearby walmart 17 minutes from springville or pell city so it's quick access 20 to 25 minutes to rainbow city or pell city the public's there 10 minutes from downtown Asheville to, to the uh, piggly wiggly uh moody's just too far moody's about 30 minutes to go to walmart or to the public's over there so i'd probably go to one of these and there's nice shopping malls there in rainbow city so you can hop and skip you know, if this is a family event, family farm, and, and the wives and the girls, they want to go uh, spend the day somewhere, you know, you can be there again in, in Rainbow City there in Gadsden and shop and go bowling and, 
and and everything there in 25 to 30 minute drive and it uh it's a hop and a skip i live in this area so I'm, that's kind of where we go and do uh things ourselves. but look at the finishes in the house you know this is really done well for the type of use that they've used it for a place where people can come and enjoy as they're getting ready for the wedding day you know you got the guys here then you got the girls area and this is not the girls cabin this is the guys cabin the girls cabin is out in the woods and it's it's a lot uh more upscale it's it's, it's set up to appeal to them and and it's a really nice and really done well you can see the hot water heaters there but we're going to see that in just a moment and it's just a really neat piece of property overall you know there's not many properties that that come available that's like this in st Clair county there's just not a lot of big tracks that come available so that's another thing that's kind of unique about this area is uh, you see a lot of things that do come, but sometimes they're not dressed up and, and converted and developed like this. But just a really neat place. But this is a nice little loft area. You can put more people. You know, again, this is a two-bedroom, one-bath home. Um, but you do have room up here that you could put a few small, um, uh, you know, small little bunk beds. Nothing that's bunk, just small enough that you can... Um, get in here or put um you know sleeping bags is because the obviously the roof line is is kind of short here because it's a loft but there's still room to sleep people up there if you needed to but it's just a really neat place use pretty views in the area it's it's a, actually a good community over here um, people that have had farms for a long long time they've owned this farm for for quite a while and they started doing, um, I think, weddings about um, five, six, seven years ago or so. They, uh, so it's, but it's got a lot of opportunity. There's just so many things that you could do here. If you didn't even want to um, do weddings, it's just a great place to have a family and to be able to um, look out and see this view of the pasture. And it's just a really neat spot to, to be. And I think... Um, Anybody that would be interested in a place like this will think so too because um, it just hits on so many things. You've got your pasture, you've got your hunting, and then you got the little cabin in the woods, this little chalet here that's just down through the trail to this um, location. But, you know, it's a one bed, it's a kind of a loft bedroom with one bath. It's got double vanities. It's about a thousand square feet. The porch is a 9 by 20 so it's still a nice porch size. This is the most private spot to be. The other one is more open to the other, uh, to the entertainment barn. But this is very, very private, looking back towards the creek there. That's the direction that you're looking, is back towards the creek. The main road is basically behind this chalet. But immediately when you walk in, you see this. You can see this is dolled. It, this was dolled up for the girls to get the girls ready for the wedding, or you know, again, bed and breakfast. You know, this would be a great spot to be for a little bed and breakfast. Nobody sees you. You're kind of off to yourself. You can kind of enjoy your time. And the bedrooms upstairs, the loft bedroom. We're going to walk up there and let you look at that. Plenty of room up there. Lots of space up there. And then the bath bathroom is downstairs. We're going to get there to it in just a moment. But just look how neat this is. This is a really cool chalet. This is I like this is smaller, but I really like this one uh, better for me because I like the privacy. I like the colors. They chose great colors for the home. It really uh, this little place that stands out. And then you got this nice ear for the bed, and you got your little um, folding covers to cover the window then that's kind of looking back in the direction towards the road and kind of back towards the uh, barn just to kind of give you some kind of view but we're kind of pointing direct to, in the direction towards the creek um, looking in this direction as we're walking down just to kind of put this all together for you because it can this is a big piece of property it's got some coverage it's kind of hard to see this home in an area about where it, location it is but nice countertops, as you can see, cabinets, just a really neat 
well done little spot here. That's a little mini split on the wall. That's your heating and air there. Uh, you've got your double vanities here. You got the tub. You can see it's got the tile in the back, of the back there. And then you've got the nice board walls with the uh, vanities. Just, I mean, they just spent a lot of time and a lot of thought on how they wanted to present this property for the weddings. And that's what they focused on. But it could be for a lot of different things again. But that's what they did. And it may not be what you do but or, or how you use it. But it's done really well. And that's why I keep talking about the value of the property. And you'll see that in the link below. The value is here. But when you, when you figure out what it costs them to, to go in here and build something like this. And then, and then you figure the land value it's worth it's worth every penny of it but that area below you got a lot of area that you could expand the ponds if you wanted to you got that kind of a potential but you know the cabins in the woods we just left there you got the main cabin there then you got the entertainment barn there and we're working our way back towards the the, the light i mean back towards the uh, creek you can see you got 10 acres there you got the eight acres right in here in this area and then we're headed towards the creek. Now, lots of turkey in the area. Show Creek has a lot of turkey population. When I was out there filming, I jumped up. Didn't surprise me. You know, we see a lot of turkey in the Show Creek Valley area. And there's a lot of timberland behind this property. Lots of timberland that's owned by either a timber company or by a family. There's one family in the St. Clair County that they own probably, who knows, 40,000 acres. And a lot of that is back in here. But this is Shoal Creek. That was the bridge that you see in the distance there. You can see that you got your iron beams and you probably need to do a little extra to it to sport probably something really heavy if you wanted to bring it over the bridge. But you're about 900 feet um, across the bridge there, down this shooting lane, you got about 900 feet from the bridge there to the uh, field. This is a really pretty field, and you can see how pretty the timber is as we're going down this um, shooting lane. And that's the field that we're going to get you on the ground and let you see. But lots of trails and lots of other opportunities to add more trails on this property as well. You got some bottom land, you got timber, you got some hardwood bottoms, just a lot of different things there for hunting purposes. But this is the view looking back towards down that lane. We're on the upper field of that. Now we're kind of more on the lower field. We're going to go on that trail right there to the right. But this is a pan looking down. We were just up above there on, uh, looking down the lane. And then this is just kind of give you a view looking down the lane from the field back towards the barn. You can see the barn there in the in the distance. And... And then there's a trail that I pointed out just a second ago. And that trail takes us along through this timber and bottom land to the creek here. And there's a road, there's a road that runs along the creek. And you've got some timber and some um, hardwoods bottoms that's across the uh, creek in two locations. And in two of those locations, you got about 23 acres that's gonna be south of the creek that's wooded. And then on down, you'll notice there's about seven acres or so that's south of the, or north of the creek, excuse me. You got 23 acres that's north of the creek. Then you got seven acres that's north of the creek. And then the rest of the property is, you know, uh, that you would hunt would be on the south part of, of that creek. But this is a really nice road system. Lots of beaver ponds that's dammed up water. So, you know, we do get ducks, a little bit of ducks in the area. So you might even, if you like to duck hunt, you might be able to get them um, here and to hunt that. But lots of opportunity for hunting possibilities for you and your family. Or, again, if you're wanting to, to offer something to people. But the good thing is you got a lot of farms around it. You got all this timberland that backs up that's, that's owned by typically basically one person maybe two at the most but hundreds and hundreds of acres that's very protects this property 
which is really nice too. You got about three fields. You saw the first field. There's another field down below to the right, uh, coming up to the right. But and to our left is is the creek running along. We're just running along this road. You can tell that it gets a lot of water in here, and, that, and Shoal Creek does get up. Some of this property is in the floodplain because of the creek. And Shoal Creek is a major creek that feeds Neely Henry Lake. This is a second field that's on the property that you can actually go in there and plant and hunt as well. But just a lot, lot of opportunity to do a lot of things. Again, it's a multi-use property. You can run a business. You could have family fun on the property, or you can use it for private use. It's just a lot of opportunity here that most of the times you don't find on a property. You find them where they're just so they're so cut up, and you can't really use them that well, or there's just always something. It's got a funny shape to it. This has a really unique shape, but it's a usable shape to the property. And, you know, if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'll be happy to uh, take you on a tour. We appreciate you for watching the video. You can, my number's at the end of the video and down in the video description. And again, we appreciate you watching as always.